Serum 2 has been out for a while now. I just thought that I would kind of make this video on some new techniques that I've learned and things that I've incorporated into my workflow and just things that are like sort of interesting to speed up your workflow in general. So if we just grab like a melody, we can just drag it into one of the oscillators and then select whichever oscillator type we want. I'm gonna go granular, right click on it and go slice order. It's picked these slices. We've got this like line here that adjusts the sensitivity of the slices. So if you want more slices, you just pull it down. We can actually do this multiple times in the same patch. So if I just grab, let's say a vocal texture in the same key, I can do the same thing. Hit auto slice. Just for context, this is a patch that I made in Serum and I've just made like a simple melody. Sometimes it can take a little bit of tweaking to sort of get the textures layered right on top of each other. I had to pitch this melody out one octave just so that they didn't clash together. Something else that I'm loving about Serum 2, we can now use bus effects. If I want just this oscillator A to have a certain effect on it or like a, an entire effect chain, let's say, I can just click on the bus, obviously, go over to the oscillator, you click on this button at the top and you can mix in bus effects. So this oscillator is getting the signal from this bus, bus 2. Or you can just also head over to this mix channel oscillator a and we can adjust the amount i've just bumped that the whole way up and now this oscillator a is the only one receiving this distortion but also another thing to note is if we want to use that distortion on this oscillator b we can adjust it to our liking so it doesn't have to have the same amount that oscillator a has Something that I was hoping for when we had the original serum was to be able to use multiple of the same effect. I used to do this where I would just use serum one and then I would use serum effects on the end of it to use like multiple distortions. But now fortunately we can just literally add as many as we want. So I've got two distortions here in this chain and I can set one to downsample and then one to let's say a linear fold. I typically just use two, but I like to use them really subtly. So it just shapes the sound, but if we're subtly adding like multiple different types of distortion, we can really get some interesting textures out of that. When it comes down to melodic stuff, simple can be really good. Here's an example of a bell that I made. I just changed the envelope very subtly using a sine wave here with just a filter on it. And we've just got a couple of effects on the end of it. I think that's why I love it is because of how user-friendly it is and how easy it can be to get a great sound out of. I definitely recommend if you're new to sound design, just diving in and starting off with the basics, focus on this envelope. Once you have the shape of your sound that you want or you're trying to recreate, just start layering some effects and do the simple things and uh, you'll be surprised how far it can get you. Something else that's really useful in Serum 2, if we go over here and we click this little button here that's hidden, you just drag out and it will drag out our one shot of your preset. And I saw in a video as well, you can grab and resample your preset to get different results. I also wanted to say massive thanks for everyone wishing me a happy birthday in the last video. I got a lot of comments on that last video. I really appreciate it. I think there was somebody else that had a birthday as well on the same day. So I hope you had a good birthday. So yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it everyone for like watching my videos can't believe people like to watch my videos it's crazy it's crazy that i get to do something that i love and then people actually enjoy it as well so uh yeah huge thanks